Hello, today we're going to talk about the Philips Proxy Diagnost N90 nearby fluoroscopy system. It's a two-in-one system that includes x-ray as well as fluoroscopy. First, I'm going to bring a patient into the room. I'm going to have you go ahead and lay down. So one of the important features of the system is our wider tabletop. It's a 31.5 inch tabletop. So if you have really large patients, it's easier to get them on. Next, I'm going to talk about the features of the tower. So when you bring the tower across, push the tower, it releases the lock and you can easily move the tower across the patient. So one of the, the biggest new features with this system is the depth between the tabletop and the bottom of the detector. It's almost 24 inches, it's 23.6 inches from the tabletop to the bottom of the detector. So if you have really large patients, and let's say you're doing a lumbar myelogram, um, you have much more access to be able to move the needle around the patient, and you don't have to worry about hitting the top of the tower. The other benefit is the tower goes down as low as 9.8 inches. So for pediatrics, it's also good because you can get your tower closer to the patient, which reduces your object to image distance. When moving the tower, you have a motor assist handle. So if you grab the handle, this gray area, you can easily move up and down, head to toe. You can move side to side. And you can move in circular motions as well. So you can easily follow barium with the tower. We also have the in-room overhead monitor, which can be moved around the room. You also have the images to display to show the patient in the room as well. I'm gonna come into the head end of the patient and position the patient from up here. Um, if I need to access the other side of the patient, I can easily do that because I don't have large motors on the back side of the room and I have a small footprint. So now I can easily walk back here come in to the foot end of the table, manipulate my patient down here, or if I need to hold the patient, such as a pediatric patient, I can easily stand by the patient during the whole procedure. So with our new flat detector, we have seven AEC chambers. We have three on the top, one large one in the middle, and then three on the bottom of the detector. So I'm gonna bring this up and I'm gonna park the tower now. And to park it, you simply just grab this, and you can move it back to park your tower and you can lock it in to position. The next feature I'm gonna talk about is the table movements. So you've got buttons on the side of the table you can do all your table movements with. So you can move right to left, head to toe. And then we have a button here in the middle. If you hold that down, it will center your tabletop to your table bucky. And then we also have the ability to tilt the table from the side as well. I'm going to show you the table bucky. So to move the table bucky, all you have to do is simply push in this button to move your table bucky up and down the table. And to actually see your detector, you're going to grab the table bucky, release the lock, and you can pull out the sky plate, which is our wireless detector. Once you have the detector out, the, the bucky's locked, so you can easily load the wireless detector one-handed. Next, I want to talk about the emergency stop. So you can simply push in the stop button here, and it locks your tabletop from any movements. So if you have a patient over 550 pounds, you typically don't want to move your tabletop, so you can lock it so there's no tabletop movements or you don't have the ability to angle your table as well. Now we're gonna demonstrate a modified barium swallow study. So we've got our patient on the table here. What I'd like you to see is the distance between the tabletop and the bottom of the, the tower, it's 23.6 inches. 
So you have a lot of room to maneuver your patients. You can see you've got a lot of distance from the bottom of the detector. Um, so you can easily get large patients in here sideways. And then I can move this down and then we're gonna go ahead and bring our radiologist in to do the floral portion of the study. I'm gonna hand the barium cup to the patient. Go ahead and take a drink and hold it down by your side. So once we're done fluoroing, the radiologist has the ability to use a remote control to play the runs back on the overhead monitor that's in the room. So they can show this to the patient as they're in the room. They can play and they can pause. They can go frame by frame with the remote control. They can play um, different runs in the room. Once we're done with the study, here, we're going to go ahead and lay our patient down. Tilt the table down. Go ahead and park my tower. And then the study's complete. We've went over the fluoroscopy, now we're going to go over the general x-ray portion of the system. This is our Oliva overhead tube. You can easily grab the handle and move the tube anywhere in the room, but we also have color-coded buttons on the tube. So if I push my blue button, this is for my transverse detent. So once I'm in a detent, I get a green light. Yellow is going to be for height adjustment. Black is for angulation. My green button is going to be for my longitudinal detents. Purple lets you rotate your tube. We've got a collimator light here. Philips collimator light's very bright, so you can easily see it on our patient. And with the technologist in mind, we've also got our collimators on the side of the collimator box, so they can easily grab the collimation and manually collimate from the side of the box. It's no longer in the front of the box. We can also come over to our wall bucky here, and we can do our movements to set up our patient positioning. We've got the ability to turn on tracking on our tube, so I can turn tracking on, and the tube's gonna track with the wall bucky. So when I move my wall bucky, the tube will track with the wall bucky. So that way I can position my patient from here, and the tube's gonna track, and my collimator will be where it needs to be on the patient. I also have the ability to collimate from the side of the wall bucky, so I can collimate out or in, side to side, or I can go up or down with my top and bottom collimation. And when I do that with the tracking on, the tube's going to track to wherever my collimation's open to. So with our proxy diagnostic, the general x-ray portion of the system, we also have the capability to do stitching. So with our Oliva tube head, we also have a stitching stand. And with that, it shows you how many images you can stitch on your Oliva tube head. So when you open your collimation up, it'll show three images. If I collimate down to the anatomy, it'll show two. So basically, you just open it up to whatever anatomy you want to cover. You move the tube head to have your collimator covering the patient. So now we're gonna do a test sweep to show the coverage, to make sure we're gonna cover the anatomy we need to cover. Exposure one. Exposure two, and that's gonna cover the spine. And then the tube and the detector are gonna go back into position. So that's the versatility of the proxy diagnost system. I have the capability to do general x-ray as well as fluoroscopy on this unit.